my YouTube channel. My name is Daniela and if you're new here, I make up cycling videos and also some basic tutorials for sewing and some DIYs. In this tutorial, we will be seeing how did I make this cottage core or gathered bust dress using my mother's sari. Even if you don't want to use a sari and you want to use normal fabric, you can go ahead and use that. I will be using my basic bodice to draft this pattern. I have added the link of the basic bodice tutorial in the description box below and also it will pop up here. So make sure you check that out before you continue with this video. Now without any further delay, let's get into the video. So I have my front and the back bodice. I will start with the front bodice. Here I will mark 3 inch above the bust line. This is going to be my upper bust line. You can choose how deep you want your neckline to be and select the point accordingly. I'll just draw a straight line here. Then I'll mark another point at 1 inch from my shoulder line. Okay, I'll just mark a point here. Now my original upper bust line, I'll just come half inch downwards and then I will join these two points together like this. Now this is going to be my new armhole curve. Then at the center, I will come half inch or quarter inch down and then mark a point here. Then connect this point with the upper bust point. This is going to be my neckline. Now I will go ahead and cut it on the under bust line because our upper bodice will be till under bust point, the gathered bust one. Okay. So this what I have cut now is my upper part of the bodice. I will keep it on the lining fabric. Since it's a gathered bust, what I will do is I will add four and a half. You can also add five or six inch based on the gathers that you want. So I've added four and a half inch and then I will add the seam allowance on all the sides and then I will go ahead and cut this piece. So the cutting for the gathered bust is done. Now for the bottom part, I'll take the remaining pattern and remove this dart. So now I have these two pieces. Now you have to decide the length of the dress that you want. I have taken it to be 38 inches from the under bust line. Then I will keep the center part of the pattern on the folded side and add half half inch in the seam allowance. I only did the marking till the waistline. Then at 17 inches, I'm going to add my cut. So whatever is my waistline measurement, I will add one to it and then mark that point and connect it with the waistline. Now at the bottom, I will add two inches to my waistline measurement and mark the point and connect it. The waistline measurement is the one on the pattern. Okay, that piece of pattern, not the whole waist divide by four. Now I will take the other pattern piece and then mark half inch on both the sides and then extend those line downwards. Don't make it too flare at the bottom because otherwise the slit won't look proper. Once the markings are done, just go ahead and cut the pieces. Now let's move on to the back pattern. I will be using the front bodice which we had cut before and then keep it on my back bodice and then mark the armhole curve and also the neckline. Then I will go ahead and cut it and I will also cut the darts. Now again, I have two pieces. I will be doing the same procedure as I did with the front bodice. But you just have to remember that the length should be more this time. Because for the front bodice, we took the length from the under bust. For the back one, we have to take from the upper bust. Do the same procedure as the front bodice. Cut these same pieces on the main fabric also. Now for the gathered bust, take the lining fabric, main fabric and make the gathers. I have created a separate video for how to make gathers. Check that out if you have any questions. Now what we will do is we will take the bottom part of the pattern which we have cut and then just go ahead and join them together. Also do the same for the lining fabric as well. And if you want the slit like how I have in my dress, then for the front pattern, for one of the side on which you want the slit, don't stitch it till the end. 
once you have pinned the pieces it will look something like this now take it to the sewing machine and stitch it do the same thing for the back pattern also and also for the lining fabric now attach this gathered bust to the bottom part of the dress to make it easier always mark the midpoint of both the pieces and use it as a reference while pinning those two pieces together follow the same procedure for the lining fabric as well then once you have pinned it take it to the sewing machine and stitch it Now let's draft the pattern for the sleeve. This means it should be on fold. I mark the point at 3 inches and then draw a horizontal line. On this horizontal line, whatever is my bicep measurement, I will mark that. I have marked here 11. And then I will just draw a curve here from the top. Like this. And then I will take my bodice, which we just stitched, to see the length of the armhole curve. This. So I just go ahead and measure it. Okay. And then on your sleeve pattern, make a straight vertical line of that measurement. It should be a straight line like this. Then draw a sloped line till the end of the sleeve. Then go ahead and cut this pattern on the fabric. You can see that I have added the seam allowance on the top, not on the bottom because I don't want a long sleeve. Now we need to make loops for the elastic. So for that we need to fold it twice, okay? Once like this, go ahead and stitch it. So it will look like this. I'm not sure if you can see, but it will look like this. And then fold it again so that you will have a loop for the elastic. Make those loops on the top of the sleeve, also on the bottom part of the sleeve, because we will be adding the elastic on the top as well as on the bottom. So make those channels, pin it, and then go ahead and stitch it. Once this is done, we need to go ahead and cut the elastic. For the measurement, we will take the bodice which we had cut and you need to now measure this point. For me, this measurement is 5 point something. But since it's an elastic, I'm just going to take 5. So 5 for the front, 5 for the back. So it will be 10. Then I will go ahead and insert this elastic in the loop. You have to do the same procedure for the bicep as well. Cut the elastic of your bicep measurement. For me, my bicep measurement is 11 inches. Once you have attached all the elastics on all the sides, it will look like this. Okay. Now you need to attach this sleeve. So you remember that measurement we took of the armhole curve. We have to attach that point now. Like this. Okay. So go ahead, pin it and then stitch it. Do it on both the sides. Once this is done, we will go ahead and attach the lining. So you have to keep the right sides facing each other. Okay, and the sleeves will come down. And see how am I stitching it? I will join them from the midpoint. And then I will just pin the pieces together. Pin it till the armhole curve ends. Also, don't forget to attach those straps which you have in the front. So I will attach them on the lining wrong side. Like this. When you are stitching it, you have to stitch a V at the center because we want the straps to come out. So you can see I have stitched a V here. I have added a picture on the screen how your stitch should look like. There should be a gap in between. So your straps would be coming out from that space. It is little clear on this side. You can see it matches with the picture and there is a gap. Now go ahead and add some notches so it will be easier for you to flip around. For the V, add a notch till the end of that V. And once that is done, turn it on the right side and do a top stitch. But before you do a top stitch, make sure that you remove your straps from that space above the V. You can use a safety pin like how I have done it. Do the same procedure and make sure you have the straps coming out on the right side before you do a top stitch. 
and don't do the top stitch on the strap because otherwise the strap won't move and then you won't be able to form gathers by pulling the straps once that is done make sure that you also do a stitch under the strap so there will be a loop for the straps to move okay once this is done you have to attach your back pattern with the front we will start by attaching the sleeve again for attaching the sleeve you have to attach it on those armhole curves pin it and then stitch it once you have stitched it it will look like this okay now we have to attach the linings you can see i have the right side of the back pattern facing up and i have moved the entire front part at the bottom and then i am attaching a lining this is to get the clean finishing okay just see how i have done it and do the same thing make sure that you pin the pieces and once you have pinned the pieces make sure you turn to the right side and see if it is looking fine before you go ahead and stitch it and once you know that okay this is fine then you can take it to the sewing machine and stitch it then add the notches and turn it on the right side you will have something like this now we only need to attach the sides we are not going to attach the lining fabric and the main fabric together we want the clean finish so first we will go ahead and put the main fabric right sides facing each other and pin it so we will pin the main fabric first and then stitch it and then we will stitch the sides of the lining fabric do it on only one side because on the other side we have to attach a zip So you can see main fabric stitching is done and now in the same line we have the lining fabric as well so go ahead and pin it and then stitch it Once this is done when you flip your garment on the right side you can see on the inside also it looks beautiful then go ahead and add the zip Now we will do the finishing of the slit Fold it once and take it to the sewing machine and stitch it Then you need to keep the right side of your slit facing the right side of the lining fabric you can see how i am doing it make sure you pin the main fabric and the lining fabric which is above the slit so that they will be properly aligned when you pin them together okay so now go ahead and pin them you can see i am keeping the right sides facing right sides and then i will go ahead and pin it do it on both the sides and once you have done it take it to the sewing machine and stitch it then go ahead and iron the slit part and then take it to the sewing machine and top stitch it i have created another video about what is top stitch and what is under stitch make sure you check that out once this is done you just have to do the finishing at the bottom hem so just fold it twice for the whole bottom part and then take it to the sewing machine and stitch it and your dress is ready